it's time for the final question. Now you've all been given the question before the show. I'll read the question again and you'll each have 30 seconds to answer. Scotland, we'll begin with you. Tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. So the greatest and hardest obstacle that I've ever had to overcome is losing my father at the age of 20. So sadly, my father took his own life and it was something we never saw coming. Um, so yes, the biggest thing that I have learned from this experience is really how strong I am. I did have the support and love from my friends and family and such a strong role model as my mother to look up to. But really I had to dig, dig deep within um, to overcome this. So if I learned anything from this, it is to live each day as it was the last. That's why I have been traveling, making the most of my life and hopefully I can inspire others to do the same. Thank you, Scotland. Jamaica. Tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. The greatest obstacle that I've had to overcome was one with myself. It was really building my self-confidence. As a child, people tend to throw their opinions at you. And I latched onto those opinions and I used them to define who I was. And that really kept me back from a lot of things, trying new things and trying just to find myself. And know that I have found myself. It's a freeing feeling to know who you are and that way you're just not boxed in anymore and I am so grateful that I eventually did because there are many people who are still searching and I'm just so happy that I have found who I am and I can be confident in my genuine self. Thank you Jamaica. Dominican Republic, tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. The greatest obstacle that I believe I had to go through in my life has been moving to a new place like New York and um, having to deal with you know criticism with my accent or the color of my skin and it is something you know that I wasn't used to but at the same time it has taught me that it's so much more than just the appearance the outside um, appearance and it's about um, what makes somebody valuable in life is the person's heart you know their values um, their passions in life and that wanting to change the world and make a difference is what truly matters at the end of the day. Thank you so much, Dominican Republic. Gibraltar, tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. Coming from an unsettled family, that made me very insecure as it was when I was a child and it sort of had a huge effect on me. I had to take up a lot of things. I had to be very independent and grow up a lot faster than other kids. But I realized that was a positive thing because I've grown up to be a very independent and strong person. And I think that I've taken all of that negative stuff and brought it to be a very positive thing in my life now. And also having my mother, seeing how strong she's been and everything has also been very good for me. Thank you, Gibraltar. Nigeria. Tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. Um, as a young lady of six feet two inches, it's <laughs> um, growing up as a teenager was most of the time very uncomfortable because um, I looked overaged amongst my peers um, in photographs, in group photographs. You'd always be told to stay at the back and I couldn't find my right pair of jeans. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but as I've grown older, I've grown more confidence in my height, I've embraced my height, I've, um, I appreciate it more and it, it's made me to be a role model for young ladies with the same height as me who face similar challenges as I did. Thank you Nigeria. Thank you. And Canada, tell us about the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome in your life and what you learned from it. Thank you Frankie. I would have to say that the greatest obstacle that I've had to overcome in my lifetime that I still face every single day would be changing the stereotypical mindset that people have about Muslim women. So some people may know this, some may not, but I myself am a Muslim Canadian, a proud Muslim Canadian, and oftentimes I'm faced with ideas and stereotypes that are not at all true, and overcoming it has been really all about instead of looking at it as a negative thing, looking at it as, as a chance to educate people on what it really means to be a Muslim woman in today's day and age. And I think that that's something that I will continue doing for the rest of my life, and I hope to continue doing for the rest of my life. Thank you so much, Canada. 
And, and thank you, ladies. I mean, this is the amazing thing about this challenge is that, you know, we're sharing stories. And thank you for, for being so personal and for sharing the obstacles that you've all overcome. It's been a, a, a pleasure and an honor to listen to you all. So that concludes this episode of the Head to Head Challenge. And here's a reminder of how you can vote. There are four ways. Liking the contestants' official Miss World Facebook pages, liking their content on Mobstar, voting for them on the Miss World website, and in China on Model Power Live. From all of us here at the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay, I'm Frankie Chenna, and goodbye.